My dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Sagittarians and it's for August onwards 2024. It's about everything you need to know, my dear Sag, everything from your home life, your love life, your work life, every spiritual part, your health part, your family, everything that you need to know, every important aspect is going to be uh, revealed here for you to understand where you're at, what is hidden from you, what is coming that you don't know, why certain things are happening. A lot of understanding um, usually comes at the end of these readings. That's the intention I put in them for every Sag. So welcome, my dear viewers. Um, I hope you'll enjoy this reading. We're going to start with two important messages for all Sagittarians for August onwards. And I will shuffle twice this deck. My dear Sagittarius, these... Uh, messages, six messages, are for every one of you, for every Sag. But you can make them personal by asking a question and nominating a certain answer for you to make it specifically yours. So you can use them for that purpose in asking questions and getting answers. Okay, there's a bit of lint. I'm just removing that. Or dust, maybe. Here we go. All right. So... There's six of them. They can help you big time. Let's have a look at the truth for all Sagittarius for August. We've got refuge here. A place of haven, a place where you will feel comfortable, happy, harmonious, um, safe, safety. A refuge is a place of safety. Um, I, I feel like you will be in a, in a, in, put in a position where you will have a lot of freedom and a lot of, to go through a lot of healing. The freedom, the safety to go through healing. This is what this is. It's an enchanted fern grotto, which shows refuge, which means um, harmony and peace and healing in a safety zone, in a place where you'll feel safe. So that's wonderful. Let's have a look at the next one for August onwards. Prosperity. I feel like a lot of changes are coming into your life or taking place right now, and that is to take you to a place of Comfort, um, prosperity, happiness, things moving forward for you, and a lot of abundance. I feel like all the changes are taking you to that level. And I feel the year of the dragon this year, 2024, is going to be also taking you to high levels. Now that we've done this, I'm going to go through these messages. If, if the, the, the time is not right for you, you haven't got your question and your answers already worked out, you can put it on pause and I'm positive you'll see me go through them because I'm going to go through them right now. So starting with the first one, we have the rabbit. This is about sexual matters, something, maybe there is a sexual union because when I was shuffling um, some cards in reference to you, my dear Sag, they were saying that there is someone sexual around you or there might be a very, very deep sexual union. So the rabbit is all about that. It's about too much concerns with sexual matters or a very sexual relationship. Now, the second one, the compass. The compass is all about seeking the truth and direction. So you will successfully find the direction that you need. You will find your way. You will know exactly where you're going. You will start making plans if you haven't already. Exploring the truth and going through discovery, discovery of life path, you will find the truth and you will find your way. So the compass shows that you are going to be successful at finding your way. This is connected to people that have uh, that have got a lot of dealing with someone that has a lot of queries in them, a lot of Pisces, a lot, Pisces more than uh, well, Aquarius and Pisces, very strong. And um, also we've got Chinese here of the cat here, the rabbit, and of course the rabbit. Here we go, sexuality again, and then we've got. Um, Chinese ear of the ox or buffalo. It is twice, the buffalo twice ox. Uh, it is also about people that are have got Aries in them and Taurus. So that's interesting. 22 days from now, I would say three weeks for timing. The next one says, whatever you just cleared, it helped me shift to. So this is again Chinese ear of the ox, buffalo. Um, whatever you did, it helped me. Whatever you changed or cleared, helped me to shift to. So I feel like by you doing or finding your compass even, finding your way, you will help others um, move forward. This shows it's all to do with partnerships. It is about people that have Aquarius or Pisces in them. Again, Chinese area of the Ox of Buffalo and two. It could be up to two months from now. Timing. Two weeks or two months. 
Let's have a look, look at this one. It says you are highly thought of with the bow. You are highly thought of. Highly thought of. Very nice. So people are thinking of you and you are highly thought of. They think high of you. The sun. The sun is all about abundance and healing. The healing process of abundance, the healing process of success, um, vitality, creation, radiance, um, a reason to, to move forward, a lot of, a lot of um, luck. Not luck, sorry, it's not luck. It's about success and radiance and also about um, well-being, healing and knowing your purpose. And a lot of abundance actually comes in different areas of your life with the sun. As for timing, we have one. Uh, within a month, you will feel this, a week to a month. Chinese year of the rat, people that have Aquarius, again Aquarius, or Capricorn in them. And we've got number one. A new beginning also with the sun, a new beginning. Karmic ties. I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her behind. Creating a plan to leave someone behind. Um, it shows here that this could be connected to people that are Chinese year of the snake. Connected to people that have Gemini in them or Cancer. Uh, it is also about six, six weeks from now. Could be six days or six weeks. I'd say it's six weeks from now. And it's about karmic ties and trying to let go of them to move forward. That's great. Okay. Now that we established that, we will move forward to the next level. Okay, we're going to take two messages from this deck. All Sagittarians, August onwards. Here we go. And we've got leaving behind. Look at that, the Eight of Cups. Leaving someone behind and moving forward, even though with sadness and regret, but it is part of destiny, I feel. Like it's destined to leave someone behind and move forward. Let's have a look at the next one. It could be connected to people of air energy. This one, air energy. Um... We had six, we had the snake, Chinese era of the snake, connected to the situation. Now we've got air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, leaving people. But the clarity of seeing with power is also, even though we'll be grieving the loss of, it's not going to be easy to leave because you've got the Eight of Cups and you've got the Five of Cups. This is leaving a situation with regret and search of more happiness. And this is grieving the loss of who you're leaving behind. So yes, you will grieve someone or something behind. I think it's emotions we're talking about because it's the cups. Um, and air energies are involved in this Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, we'll see at the end everything about the signs. I'll go through uh, some signs, five signs. We'll see what are the combination of the people that you're dealing with on a very high level in August or the people that are coming into your life, one or two people. So we'll, we'll check that out. We'll have a look at now some more information for all Sagittarians for August. We have the Eight of Swords feeling trapped at the mercy of situation, restricted, not able to move. That's all going to be finishing because you're leaving, which is really great. When you feel restricted and you leave, that's when you're finding your compass. There is a proposal or a proposition that might help you actually move forward and take a leap of faith. This could be something that you could find hard to say no to. It might be such a wonderful proposal that you will really um, want, to do, want to go ahead with it. Let's see. We're going to take one more. We have the page of swords in reverse. This shows this is uh, someone of air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And it's to do with the truth. And the truth is not being seen. It's not being heard. It's unwanted. And when this is uh, finally wanted, then you will see your compass even better. Oops, sorry. And then we have the hangman. The hangman shows a lot of sacrifices have been made where you've put your interests aside and done for someone else. Now this is coming to a completion, to an end, which is really great. What you don't see happening and coming is the Ten of Pentacles, the money, which is all about wealth, generation of wealth, and a lot of it is coming. So that's that one, what you don't see happening and coming. We're going to take some more cards now, some more tarot cards, some more messages for all Sagittarians. Three more. Three more messages. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles. It shows a lot of money is coming to the point where you will have financial freedom and you are able to help those who are in, in more need. You will be supporting others who are um, not as fortunate as you. So I'll just put that right next to the rabbit. Bear with me. I'll bring the rabbit down. 
so we can fit this in. Okay, here we go. That's better. Now, I'll do the same here with the bow. I'll just bring it down. The next one, we have the Page of Cups. Someone that might be very inspirational, that might support you in their ideas. Someone that will uplift you. Even if they're temporary in your life, they will come in your life to uplift you to the next level. So that's very interesting. This person could be of water energy. It could be Pisces. So we've got one, two, and one more. And finally, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Luck and Abundance. This is where destiny is taking over to take you to the next level. So every change is everything that's happening. is happening for a great reason. What you don't see happening and coming, you're leaving. You're leaving a situation that's a bit controlling and you don't want it anymore. You're just leaving. You're not happy. Before I start clarifying, I'm going to get some more information. Just a little bit more. The truth. Now, with the, um, with the Page of Swords in reverse, that could also mean someone of air energy, might have air energy in them, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, could also have um, an accident. Uh, that could be, but you have to be treading carefully. It might be someone around you or a friend or someone you might hear, or they might be leaving or they're unhappy. Okay, the spiral, another message for Sagittarius. Okay, so the next one is the anchor. Now, the spiral is all about out, things that are out of control. And I was talking about this. This could be someone that might go out of control and, you know, might um, find themselves in a bit of a problem. Uh, things out of control, but also the good news about the spiral is climbing up the ladder, moving up, upward trend. So that's really good. Some of you could be revisiting a job. Some of you could be getting a promotion. There are a lot of connections and a lot of changes happen with um, spiral good changes um, going upwards, ranking up. The anchor, on the other hand, is also spectacular. It shows that there could be money blocks or being stuck. But the great news about the anchor is that financially you will be sound um, and it brings you stability. You'll have stability. <laughs> it is about careers, uh, water-related careers. Travel could be also possible in regard to careers. Okay, let's move on to the next one and let's see what else you need to know. Two messages. Okay, and we have we have one that's opened up. Right, there's a lot of chemistry uh, between you and someone. And actually, when I was doing the, these cards, it's this one that I got, which was sexual union, um, honor. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss when you are sexually active with someone. And that's why I was shocked when I got the rabbit. This one kept on falling. I kept it at the top to, to tell you about it. And now we've got chemistry. So we're talking about very strong sexual union. There's a very strong magnetic attraction which resolves in um, sexual union between you and someone. There's a lot of chemistry. But for those of you who are single and leaving, they're saying very soon, clearly decide what you want because we're going to send it to you. The heavens are going to send you something wonderful, but you need to decide and, and clear your mind because some of you are in the process of leaving situations and moving away from them. But clearly decide, they're saying, but I will take another one so that the universe and heavens gives you that which you need. Prosperity is coming and so is healing and safety for those of you who are not sure. So we got this card today. It says balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and have challenges. So that's very good to know. Now I'm going to start clarifying the cards. I wonder if there's anything that I might have not actually done. There might be actually one deck. I used to use it. I'm going to use it just to get two more information for all Sagittarians. All this onwards. Or even one message too many okay we've got one any chance of another one yeah okay thank you that's very good okay it says begin now start now my dear Sagittarius this is the time to begin and take your first step begin now and take your first step that's what this is all about so you can start right now you don't have to even wait and think the other one says ascending the mountain this is about keep going forward don't stop this is saying, begin now, take your first step, and then keep going forward without stopping. With whatever you have contemplated and reached, to what level, that's where you are advised to move forward with what you're thinking and your plans. Begin now, take the steps, and start doing what you have to do. Let's start with this page of swords turned over. 
in reverse. Let's see what this is all about. This is about not accepting the truth. But let's see. For all Sagittarians. As I was saying, my dear Sag, um, we have a great... Okay, this is really... Um, because we have the page in return, like in reverse, and we have the chariot, it shows that there could be a challenge. Now, sometimes this is... Not sometimes, most of the time, the chariot is considered a vehicle transport. There could be a small accident with someone. That is specific and just for some. Not every Sagittarius is going to go through this. Just pay attention. Uh, this, could, this isn't about you. It's someone around you. So it just needs um, a little bit of caution. Someone that have got air energy like Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. I also feel like um, this could be someone that might have cancer in them, possibly, because this is a cancer card. But it does show there is a challenge a very strong challenge that you will combat and you will fight and you will win. You'll have a great victory. So if you're dealing yourself with someone of air energy, there is going to be a battle, but you are going to win that battle. That's the first card. And the second one, it says, this might be also in connection to someone that is a Virgo, has got Virgo in them. This could be about looking into the truth, contemplating and digging deep into the truth, searching for the truth. And the... Um, the Page of Swords is the truth, but it's in reverse. That means the truth isn't being seen yet. That's why uh, you are in search of it, or somebody in connection to you is in search of it. Virgo here, very strong. I feel like by September this is going to take place. And look at this, the moon. The moon is, oh my God, the moon is all about, and there's an ending. Mm, I see. Yeah, this is all talking about an end, karmic ending, a lot of truth. See how I told you this is the truth? I keep talking about this. Uh, it's the truth and it's in reverse. That means the truth isn't being seen. And yes, the moon is coming and illuminating your path so that you can see what's ahead, all the pitfalls. And then it's after the moon, all the secrets and revelations and the facades are removed. And you see the truth, then you are able to move forward. Without any hesitation, you see your path very clearly. Very interesting. That's what's coming. Now, let's have a look at, but ultimately, it could be challenging, but you are having a great victory with the chariot. Mm, all right. Let me move on to the next one, which is destiny, the wheel of fortune. And this is about choices that you have. And in the midst of those choices, there is one great opportunity could be opportunity for love or partnerships, one that's going to be spectacular, where you will make major decisions and destiny is going to help you make those decisions. There could be a new person, a new beginning coming into your life, starting in your life. That is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of excitement. There's a new passion igniting between you and someone. And that puts an end to a lot of, um, a lot of conflict. Conflict is wiped out, gone. Let's have a look at the Six of Pentacles for everyone. Feeling trapped. There it is again. See, it's right in connection to this. Feeling trapped and unhappy and sleepless nights, anxiety, all that comes to an end when a large amount of money comes in your life. I feel like the money is going to release you. That's why we, we asked about the Six of Pentacles, which is money and power and having so much of it that you help others. This is coming. And we've got the Ten of Wealth here also, the Ten of Pentacles, right? Ten of Pentacles, which shows abundance and a windfall or a lot of money. This money is what's going to, It's what you're waiting for this to release you, I feel. I feel like you're stuck and you're having sleepless nights and you're not happy where you are because of lack of money. I feel like a lot of money is coming. There could be a, like a, um, maybe a, a situation where you're leaving a situation and you're stuck because you need money to leave, you need the money to be divided if it's a marriage it's fallen apart and you're really worried will you get what is rightfully yours because there might be a lot of money here heaps of money there's a lot of it to make you really feel rich and you will will you will be rich you'll be very rich with this um ten of pentacles so i feel like you are having sleepless nights and anxiety some of you might be feeling guilty feeling trapped and guilty uh, because of a situation like um to do with the uh, with with money Mm. You might be at the mercy of situations or worried about, you know, what will happen. And in all this, is maybe it's connected to working hard and you have worked hard and now it's time for you to, to get what you truly deserve. And I feel like that is going to happen because I did see the Justice card before. 
and I feel like justice will prevail for you. Now, let's have a look at the Eight of Cups leaving a situation behind. It says it's all to do with your wish and a lot of understanding. A lot of truth is going to bring you understanding of why everything's happening. You, everything will be clear, a lot of clarity. Um, just like the King of Swords, clarity that gives you power because you see everything very clearly without any delusions or any problems. And that's empowering you to start fresh, to get one of your dream, one of your wishes and dreams will be granted. That will give you the power also to know how to proceed and what to do with clarity and truth. And that, again, is giving you a great victory. So leaving is going to be okay. It's not bad. You are unhappy anyway. Wherever you are, you're very unhappy. So leaving is going to take you to the next level. Talking about the next level, let's have a look at the sacrifices you have made with the hanged man. And it says all the sacrifices. Oh, my God. For all your sacrifices, and that's what we're talking about. I'll just put this one here. For all your sacrifices, you are going to be rewarded, right? This is the hanged man, and it's all about sacrifice, where you've put your interest, your what's good for you. You've put your life on hold for the sake of someone else. You have been doing that, maybe. And maybe not all of you, but the majority of Sagittarians have been, or those who have Sagittarians in them. And now finally, you are going to be rewarded because there's your dreams and wishes coming true. Again, the wish card. Wishes, desires manifesting before your eyes, achieving that fulfillment that you've always wanted, having your dream home, paying off your home, having a lot of money. Because don't forget, also we have the Ten. We've got the Ten of Cups and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Right, I'm holding it so you can see it. Sometimes it's not that clear when it's this small. But there it is. So abundance is coming for a lot of payoffs for your sacrifices. That's why they're saying um, safety is coming, freedom is coming, and prosperity is coming. All of it together. So that was in reference to that. We got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups, dreams and wishes come true. And again, the moon showing you clarity and your path to how to move forward. Talking about the path and clarity, let's have a look at the King of Swords for all Sagittarians. This person that might have air energy in them also. It could be a new beginning with someone that has got air energy or has a lot of clarity. A great new beginning awaits for you. Something is igniting, wonderful. There is hidden matters from you that you're not aware yet. You will find out more about it as you're going along. But you are given the strength and the power to move forward, the courage and everything to leave the past behind you and move forward. Let's have a look at the um, the Knight of Cups. This proposal, proposition, it's all about a rebirth and someone of fire energy. Again, we've got the fire energy. So I keep seeing fire energy before we had the Page of Wands somewhere here, I think. I did see that before. Anyhow, I don't want to make too much mess when I'm searching for things. That's why I never find them, because I'm always concerned about that. Okay, so I did see the Page of Wands somewhere. There was something that was igniting, and now you've got it again. Um, you've got the Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius card. It could be Aries or Leo. Fire energy, very strong, starting with someone that has strong fire energy. And, my dear Sag, this is your card, also Sagittarius. This is you. <laughs> Starting a new beginning that's going to be compensating you for all that you went through. A proposal that's going to give you compensation, healing, and a new lease of life. That's what this proposal is all about, so that you know. I'm asking about the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about a proposal. And it looks to me like it's going to be one that's going to be spectacular, giving you a new lease of life, one that you'll be thriving and rising like the Phoenix. So let me just take these cards away. Right, this was all in regard to this offer that's coming, which is going to be spectacular. Again, you are given the power and the strength. So much power and strength is going to be given to you, you will be amazed at how powerful you will be. Let's have a look at the page of um, the page of cups, where I said it's an inspiration or someone temporary comes in your life. Could be Pisces, could be water energy. Let's have a look at this. Uh, it shows that you are going to be uplifted to levels of fame or recognition. Um, a job well done, applause from the heavens, and there it is. A great victory, a lot of rewards without stop, and there is the Ten of Pentacles again. Wealth to the highest level and degree. Ten of Pentacles twice, two different, um, sorry, two different decks showing Ten of Pentacles. And then you've got Ten of Pentacles twice. 
and then you've got doing charities and helping others. So a lot of money is coming your way. And that's going to be part of your reward system for all that you have done. Big rewards, applause, recognition for who you are, what you're doing and what you're establishing. A lot of your dreams are coming true, my dear Sag. And there will be someone maybe by your side helping you move forward. Someone of Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now don't forget, before I start the um, star signs, you had fire energy very strong here. We had the Page of Wands. We had the, this is you, Sagittarius, the Wands here, fire. And now they showed Earth. So let's see what are the star signs, a combination of the people that are coming in your life from August onwards or that you'll be consumed with. we got Venus. Oh, my God. Venus. Remember I said it's possible that it could have air energy. Venus is the ruler of Taurus, Earth energy, and Libra. So there could be Taurus and Libra here. Very strong. Taurus, Libra. Let's see what else. Go Sagittarius. I'm going to take about five to six cards. So the next one, it says Leo. So we've got the fire energy here without a doubt. Sorry, that's the Leo. The fire energy we're talking about. So Leo is one of them. And there's the Pisces I talked about. Pisces. Remember I said this person could be Pisces. Could be water energy. Could be Pisces. Or somebody that might have Pisces in them. So we've got the water energy. Let's see what else. Let's see what's going to double up. Okay. Then we've got the moon. Another water energy. Cancer is here. So there's Cancer. Strong water energy. And there's the Taurus. Now there is a Taurus in your life. Coming in your life. That's got Libra in them. We've got double Taurus. And Libra. So it's not just Taurus, it's Taurus that has Libra in them, which makes them very sensual, but then very romantic and fair and just because they've got the Libra in them. Um, we've got the Leo and we've got the fish, which is Pisces and the moon. One more. There's another one. And then Jupiter, Sagittarius. So the reason this came, my dear Sagittarius, it's not only because it's you, but there's also Sagittarius. There's someone, because it's Jupiter, the rule of Sagittarius, there is someone that will come, will have fire energy in them. That could be Sagittarius or Leo. You see the sun is the ruler of Leo, Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. So there is a fire energy coming in your life. They could be Pisces, possibly, Pisces with Sagittarius Leo. They could be very well um, Taurus Libra with a little bit of either Leo or Sagittarius in them. It is possible. Either way, you are going to be thriving. I'll just see if there's one more. Just one more because this is because showing that there is two people. So we'll take one more. Okay, Mercury. So they might have Virgo, Gemini in them. We'll talk about Virgo. This is the ruler of Virgo, Mercury. It is also the ruler of... Um, Gemini, so Virgo, Gemini here. So there could be an, uh, another, uh, the Earth energy for, for the majority will be Taurus, double Taurus with Libra. And then there is a possibility of Virgo, which is another Earth energy with Gemini, with air. It's amazing they're coming with air. It's only these two that are governed by, you know, like Venus being the ruler of Taurus and Libra, Earth and air. And then Mercury, the ruler of Vir uh, Virgo, Earth and air, Gemini. So someone that that's quite communicative, very, very deep communicator, uh, communicates very on a high level. So my dear, um, my dear Sagittarius, you are going to be moving on towards Earth and fire. And that's going to be spectacular for you because you've got Leo and like yourself, Sagittarius. You've got Taurus, Earth energy that's got um, Libra in them, which is romance, which is something you love too. A lot of romance, a lot of hugging, a lot of spooning, a lot of sensuality. When it comes to sensuality, extraordinary sensuality, it is usually number one Taurus for sensuality. And number two, you've got Pisces, very sensual. And then the Libra is the romantic one. And then you've got Virgo, which is the very down to earth and very loving energy hard working and loving you will love that like yourself you are a hard worker and then you've got the fire energy that are very nurturing like yourself but you'll burn yourself out you need water and hence comes the moon which is the ruler of cancer or the pisces so there might be someone that's got water energy in them and might have the, another fire might have fire in them either leo or sagittarius like yourself or they might have leo and fire both two fire and one water or two water this will give you replenishment because too much heat is no good when you have two fire energies you need earth you need water you got the earth with taurus you got the earth with virgo so i feel like you know in every way this is going to be spectacular because um you know you might be leaving behind my dear sagittarius you could be leaving behind a taurus with libra it is possible 
grieving the loss of someone, loving someone that you love. Maybe it looks like somebody could be leaving. They might have had that in them. You could have been leaving, also leaving behind someone of fire energy. It is possible. Fire energy that might have had Sagittarius, Oli, or even Aries. You might be leaving that behind. They might have had Libra in them. They might have had uh, Gemini in them. Uh, or Virgo in them that you're leaving behind. But you're moving towards, what I'm seeing is moving towards someone more of fire energy, like yourself, either Leo or Sagittarius. With Mercury, I feel like Virgo, there could be Virgo there, could be Gemini there. Um, and I feel like water is taking also preference here. I feel like you could be dealing with someone that has strong water energy, either Pisces, and Pisces being the strongest because we've got this. This usually, the Page of Cups for me, it looks always that it's someone that's Pisces. And or could be Cancer. But there is water energy. Now, when you are dealing with fire, if you have someone like yourself, Sagittarius or Leo, there's a lot of loving, a lot of nurturing. But the fire is so strong that you could burn. That's why there's so much sensuality and sexual heat. There's so much of that. You need a bit of water to replenish. And hence comes the, the Pisces and the Cancer, water energies, to give you that breather, that that refreshment, that coolness, just to cool off too much fire can can explode and become so much. So you've got that. And you might have Virgo there too, um, with Virgo and having the Gemini there could be flaring, um, fanning the heat. And also you've got Virgo, which is the earth energy, gives stability and foundation and regeneration um, for you, my dear Sagittarius, because you are fire yourself. So this person is going to be someone that you will work well together. You'll be on the same level, thinking the same, planning a future together. You are going to be with someone that's on the same level uh, um, of mentality like yourself also, where you will find balance, where you will find agreement, where you will find a great relationship, one that challenges and supports, but you can plan and thrive and move forward. Take the step now, not only chemistry, but I feel like it's going. you will find balance in this relationship. There's going to be a lot of balance. So money coming in, a lot of money we talked about it. Love and someone magnificent. Uh, you might be dealing also the this, um, you might be dealing with one, one of these people could be a parent that you might be dealing with or a sibling that you might, or a great friend that you might be dealing with. Somebody that might have in them Taurus, Libra, um, Gemini, and a bit of Virgo. That could be also, because a lot of Sagittarius do have Earth, for family uh, and they have water for family also so you might be dealing with someone that's water energy that might be family and then it could be either way you will know what and you will put it together and you'll understand exactly from the way i described the next relationship it's going to be one that's going to be there's a lot of heat a lot of sexual union a lot of chemistry but there's also love and a strong love that puts you on the same level gives you balance um supports you both to move forward and on the same path wanting the same things where you'll know the the other relationship that you're leaving behind even though you might have been on the same level it might have reached to a level where it got time might have killed it or time made it uh that you lost interest or the person the other person wanted somebody else or you wanted someone else or you were on different paths you were going on um wanting different things and that's why probably you're leaving don't forget you're leaving with regret so whoever's leaving you they will regret it and if you're leaving someone as great as you you will re regret it too but sometimes situations and relationships do come to an end timing is everything there are things that begin and there are things that end and timing sometimes ends even while you are still connected to that situation or person you don't want it to end so that's what it looks like to me. But I see this rebirth. It's bringing you a lot of healing. It's giving you, giving you a life of happiness. It's giving you, uh, igniting you again with someone, uh, someone wonderful. There's so much hidden from you that you will love. There's going to be stability. There's going to be abundance. There's a lot of money coming in. There's a lot of happiness uh, taking place also. A lot of happiness, something you truly deserve is happening. Money, happiness, and a new beginning is coming your way and that should give you the greatest stability that you truly deserve so stability on a high level coming your way in this new rebirth you will you will thrive and have a lot of your wishes completed also and that's the end of your reading my dear Sagittarius I hope you enjoyed it do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think um, and please support me by seeing the video all the way to the end and subscribe to the channel if you haven't it's absolutely free to do so but the message today was begin Take the first step and don't hesitate. Move forward.
all my love and light to all of you. Namaste.